What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a sports design uh, like this one right here. Um, so this is a great design, um, it's pretty simple, it looks nice, um, yeah it's really easy to do, it's just it's a super time effective way to create a, a cool design for social media or I mean you can even print this out as a poster. Um, it's just like an awesome look and I really like it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So first things first. Uh, go find a nice photo. So I'm going to use this one, do football, switch it up a little bit. Um, it's pretty important to have a high quality photo. Um, so this, this particular design, I'm making it for Instagram. So it needs to be like a thousand by a thousand at the smallest. Um, so this one's 3,700, 2,400. Um, no problem there. And I also want to shout out Jesse Wu. Um, he makes a lot of cool stuff, and he's kind of the inspiration behind this. Um, I had already made designs like this in the past, but um, I was just scrolling through his stuff, and it kind of inspired me quite a bit. So um, go check him out for uh, some inspiration. So once you got your photo, let's go into Photoshop, uh, File New, and we're just going to make an Instagram portrait size. So uh, it's good to have all your different sizes saved in here, um, so you can just easily usually pick through them. So uh, Instagram portrait, so I'm going for. Uh, you could do this for any size, but portrait, I like working in portrait a lot better. So next, let's go grab, uh, go grab your photo. So I'm gonna pull it in here. Um, so once your photo's in here, um, just resize it. I'm gonna do control T to transform and just, uh, just resize it to you know, however large you want your player to be. Um, you definitely want the photo to fill the screen, so um, kind of tough using a landscape photo like I'm doing, because um, you need that, that background's important. I mean, you could do it without a background, but um, just, uh, just kind of as a time saver, it's nice to have that background already built in. Um, but I think it would look cool uh, with just a black background also, or you could put some uh, f like grain effects in there or something, but um, for this tutorial, just fill the screen, um, arrange it however you want, um, and so forth. So once you got it arranged, this looks pretty good to me. Um, we're gonna cut it out a little bit. So your background should be white, default. So we're gonna do um, about 30 pixels in, just create this little, this little white um, border that I've got going on. I'm just gonna do that right away. Um, just before we get too much stuff going on in here. So just do that. I'm sure there's an easier way to do these um, rulers. Um, but that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> so to cut it out, just go up here. Um, and then just click delete. Oops. You gotta rasterize later first and then you can delete it. So just go ahead and delete these little outer sections here. Um, now I'm just going to create a nice little white border around it. There are probably better ways to do that, but um, I just like that because you can easily control the width and stuff, and it's just it's just nice. So this is what we're working with right now. We got the R image in here, and that's it. So uh, next up, we got to cut out the player or the subject. So um, there are a bunch of different ways to do this. Uh, the way I like to do it, quick selection tool. Um, you just click on that, and you want this guy right here. Um, and you're going to select your layer, and you're going to do select subject. Um, and it's just going to think for a second here. Kind of depends on your PC, um, but there you go. So your subject selected. This one looks nice right off the bat, um, just because there's nothing like it's, the subject is very obvious in this photo. It's like there's only one thing in focus. If you've got a lot of stuff. In focus, um, multiple players, the backgrounds varied, the colors in the background kind of match the uniforms or something. Um, your cutout's not going to be as nice, and you're going to have to do some fixing. So I'm just going to be like, you don't need to have a perfect cutout for this design. Um, obviously, perfect if you're going to be using it for your work or something. But since this is not for anything um, useful, I'm just doing this for fun. Um, it doesn't really need to be perfect. So that's kind of the beauty of this design. You could just do this probably, and this would probably be fine. 
um, cause you're just overlaying this on top of something else. But, um, just to show you guys, I'll be a little bit picky here. So, um, I've got a drawing tablet also, which makes this a lot easier. Um, if you're going to be cutting out a lot of people, I would invest in one. Um, the one I have is, uh, it's an XP pen. I think that's what it says on it. It was like a hundred bucks. Um, and it works just fine. Um, it's not pressure sensitive, which is the only thing that's not great about it. But if you're not doing digital drawing, like I'm not, it's perfectly fine. So, um, anyway, sorry, I didn't really explain anything while I was doing that. Uh, the plus and the minus are how you're going to change your se selection. So you plus to add things to the selection and you minus to take things away. So, um, and you can toggle between them by holding alt on your keyboard. Sorry, I guess that only works on the plus. Um, yeah, so you press and hold the alt and it switches between them and then uh, hold space bar for the little hand and you can just kind of move your way around and just select little things. Um, I mean, select more, you know, more is less. You can, you can always, or more is better. Um, so you can always, you can always take stuff away, but you can't put it back, it's, you know. So, I mean, this looks fine to me. Uh, some of the common things that get cut off are like cleats and stuff. So I don't know, like hands. <laughs> you definitely want to have the face perfect. People are going to look at the face. The ball, making sure it's circular is nice. Um, I mean, this looks fine. So next, now uh, a lot of people mask, do like some weird mask thing. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do control C, control V. And now we just have a new layer and it's just him. And we can kind of look back at anything that's gotten messed up. Um, and the jersey looked kind of weird because it was um, a little too white there. And you can go back and clean stuff up and get real picky about it. Um, so with the eraser, you can just do the same thing. Uh, just kind of go along the edges here and get stuff. Um, I mean, this looks pretty good, though. Like, it's it's always going to have this little border around it, this little like, kind of black edge thing going on. Um, sometimes it'll be a little bit... Um, like you see, this isn't a sharp edge. It's gonna be like that sometimes. Ooh, sorry. Not really a huge deal. I mean, just clean it up a little bit. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna call this good uh, right here. But if you're using this for uh, for work or for someone else other than yourself, I would maybe go back and make sure your cutout is perfect. So. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, this looks awesome. Great. So next, we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, little bit of editing. So the work is basically done here. We've got we've got our guy, and he's lifted off the background. So we need to make the background stand out from him a little bit. So I'm gonna do levels, and I'm gonna do curves. Okay. So we want the photo darker in the background. So we're gonna do this a little bit. Um, curves, we're gonna just do an S curve here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna push this up some. Let me go darker. Push this up some. Um, and you know, because this is off of the background, it's not, nothing's happening to it. So we've got these two things on there. <laughs> Something fun to play around with. Um, if the background works for this, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Um, you can put, not a gradient, a gradient map over the top. Um, with your team's colors. So if we went, I don't know, like wait to, let's see, let's just like color pick off this guy. Oh, come on. Um, okay, well, clearly it's not white, but I don't know why it's being weird. Uh, it looks pretty good actually. So I mean, something like that. Uh, we might want to reverse these actually. But, I mean, you can play around with this. This is a cool thing that you can do. Okay, well, this is too brown. I don't know. But you can mess around with it, and sometimes it'll have a cool effect. You can, you know, switch through the blending modes. Just play around with it. Um, I've used this in the past. Um, it kind of creates a cool effect every now and then, but uh, definitely not all the time. So, But for this tutorial, I like kind of a black and white kind of look. So that's what we're going to go with. So this is where we're at right now. Um, let's do some work on him. 
something you always want to do with uh, your cutouts, cutout players, you always, always want to do a camera raw filter. Um, there's really no reason not to ever. So um, yeah, just get in there. Contrast is going to look kind of bad, but it's okay. Um, if you think you're going too far, it's probably fine. So just contrast, highlights, you know, you just really want to push the contrast on them. Um, like, like quite a bit. So, and you can see the field is red um, where this game was played, so it's gonna look kind of janky, the shadows there, but we'll fix that. And then another thing I like to do, filter sharpen sharpen. Um, just like if your photo's a little bit out of focus, this just kind of makes it pop, and I really like how it looks. So we've got that done, perfect. Now we're gonna do a black and white over the top. We don't want everything black and white. Um, we just want him. So we're going to do this right there. We're going to do, it's an alt click in between them and that's clipping mask. So now the black and white only affects the player. And then we're going to switch it to, hmm, I think hard light looks nice. And then we're just going to take this down to about 30 something. Um, and I just kind of like the way that looks. I think it looks nice. Um, and you can even, if you've got a lot of color going on in the background, like this one has that stupid red field. If the red field wasn't there, I would say it looks fine. But since the red field's there, I might want to take a little bit of saturation out of the background. Um, but that's only because of that stupid red field that they've got going on. Um, and we could even, let's see if, if any of these look nice to us. Uh, I mean, black and white honestly doesn't look horrendous in the background. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to mute the colors a little bit just because, man, that field is ugly. And it created some ugly shadows. Um, I don't want to mess around with that. Anyway, right now, we'll just leave it how it is. So this is what we got right now. It's looking nice. It's still simple. So let's add some text. So uh, just like the example, this guy's name is actually also Cam, which is kind of funny. So um, I'm just gonna go with cam. There are a lot of different things you can do for the text. Um, like a good quote that they've had, you could put back there. Um, I mean, you could just put anything. Since it's cam, it's just three letters, it's easy. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, so, I mean, you can play around with this. This is kind of where you're gonna make the, the design your own a little bit. So, um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna do cam. Perfect. All right, so, and then the font that I'm gonna use is called Biomorph. Um, I'm not sure if it's free. Um, I think I got it through Envato Elements, which is a great subscription um, that you guys should all get. It's, it's just kind of a game changer. Um, you'll get your money's worth out of it. But uh, you're really just looking for any kind of chunky font that's a little bit stretched like this one. Um, let me think of free fonts. Maybe this one might look okay. Um, this one might be a little too chunky, if anything. But for sports design, I mean, you kind of want, yeah, it's like, it's not going to be tall enough. Um, Go Bold is a great font. Um, it's a super nice high font. So that'll work nice. It's almost too high. <laughs> Honestly, like this is going to take up the whole thing. So I mean, if that's what you're looking for, uh, then great. You found your font right there. Just slapping it behind him. That looks cool. Like right now, it's already cool. Um, I mean, you be, you could be done with your design right now if this is what you wanted. Um, I am just going to go with Biomorph just because that's what, that's what we're working with. It didn't show up in the thing. Okay. Yeah, so bold. All right, and then instead of messing with the this right here, I like to do Control T again and just transform it into place. I think that's kind of the way to do it, um, and it's just gonna look better. And then for some reason, it's aligning it not straight. It it doesn't look aligned to my eye, so I'm just gonna arrow it over with my arrow keys just a little bit, just gonna you know get it to where I want to be. I think that looks cool. Um, so cam and then notice I'm leaving a little bit of space down here and so that's where you're gonna put 
um, some branding stuff. Like I had a little tag um, for Portland State because um, it was a concept for them. Um, I had a quote on mine, so you can go in. Um, kind of sucks that there's a white sock here. It's going to be hard to see the quote. Um, you know, I could leave some more room. Damn it. Could leave some more room up here for the quote, but you could put in a little quote. Um, try to use a different font that looks nice. I think this, we just do. Um, oh, it's not showing up because it's too big. What? Where is it? Okay, that was weird. Um, strange. So yeah, you can just do quote, and then we can just type some stuff in here. Just do a couple lines of it. Just for the example, um, I like to align that off to a side. I think it just looks more professional that way. Um, you want this over the top. Um, obviously, try to find it. You know, it's got to be readable. That's a huge, huge thing. You just you want to be able to read the designs you're making. So. Um, just stick it in there. Try to use a different font. This might be a good time for the Gunters to make an appearance. Um, so, you know, something like that is cool. Um, but you can do... You can do anything with this open space. You can do a quote here. You can do some stats. Um, you can do a lot of stuff. But, I mean, basically right here... The design is complete. I mean, you could even just not even have this and just do what I did before with the gold bold high. Um, and I mean, we're just, we're done right there. Like it's, it's complete. So, I mean, you can do, you can do a lot to, to make this thing your own. So, um, yeah, I hope you like the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If there um, are any other designs you see out there that you really want to know how to recreate, um, you know, drop a link. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Ben V Design. You can find me um, pretty much anywhere. I'll leave my portfolio, portfolio link in the description so you can you know contact me there um, and see all my social medias and my other work. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, tap the subscribe button. Um, and, you know, have fun creating.